The topic of Super Saiyan 3 Goku vs Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks in the Buu Saga is a highly debated topic within the Dragon Ball community. Many fans think that due to Goku's later statement of saying he could have easily beaten Fat Buu, means that Gotenks was unnecessary and Goku was just holding back. But is that really the case? Today we're going to settle the debate once and for all to see who was really stronger, the father or the fusion. Let's start with analyzing Goku first, but before that, subscribe, goal is 40k, so if you enjoy, sub up. To figure out how strong Super Saiyan 3 Goku is, we need to go back all the way to the first half of the Buu Saga. Goku revives and returns to Earth for 24 hours after training in the other world for 7 years. He plans to enter the tournament and face off against everyone, but those plans are interrupted by the arrival of Babadi. Babadi is a wizard with powerful magic whose goal is to bring about the resurrection of Majin Buu, and to do that he needs energy which is gathered by those he's possessed with his magic. If one of Babidi's possessed minions inflicts damage on someone, that damage will turn into energy that will eventually revive Buu. Vegeta realizes during the Buu saga he's still not stronger than Goku and accepts Babidi's magic, bringing forth the birth of Majin Vegeta. Now, we don't exactly know the boost in power that the Majin Mark grants a fighter, but we know that it brought Vegeta from being weaker than Goku to being equal to him. Keep in mind that Goku, as of now, has gained Super Saiyan 2, and in that form he's stronger than Gohan was when he fought against Cell. And now, Vegeta is as well. It's a common misconception that Vegeta gained Super Saiyan 2 after Babidi unlocked his power, when in actuality, he has always had access to this form. This will require another video in the future, but just remember that Vegeta always had Super Saiyan 2. He just wasn't equal to Goku until Babidi intervened. The fight drags on, but is eventually interrupted when Babidi eventually revives Buu causing Goku to lose focus and to suggest to Vegeta that the fight needs to be paused. Vegeta agrees, but not before sneak attacking Goku and knocking him out from the back. Vegeta realizes that Buu's resurrection is his fault, and in an attempt to atone for his mistakes, he decides to leave Goku out of his mess. However, even after being fully healed, Vegeta is still no match for Fat Buu. Fat Buu absolutely embarrasses Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta with margin power, and even before his intervention, was able to casually defeat Super Saiyan 2 adult Gohan. This fat Buu managed to turn Deborah into a cookie, the same Deborah who was equal to Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and was stated to be practically equal to Perfect Cell, the same Perfect Cell who at full power was going to destroy the entire solar system. Even Vegeta's final explosion, easily his strongest move, which releases all his power at once and causes him to self-detonate, was only able to turn fat Buu into pieces, which he easily regenerated from. Goku then regains consciousness and gets filled in by Piccolo, causing Goku to quickly decide to teach Goten and Trunks the fusion dance before his time runs out on Earth. He then orders Trunks to find the Dragon Radar so that the Dragon Balls can be gathered, but Babidi is making his way to the lookout. Goku decides to stall for time and does this by showing off all transformations he has access to. Then Goku unveils Super Saiyan 3 for the first time. But how strong is Super Saiyan 3 Goku? We know that Super Saiyan 3 as a multiplier is 2 times stronger than Super Saiyan 2, or specifically, it has a multiplier of 400 times. Goku as a Super Saiyan 3 is so strong that just by powering up and transforming into this form, his energy is felt across the universe by Gohan who's training on the Supreme Kai's planet. Super Saiyan 3 Goku then goes on to absolutely destroy Fat Buu, displaying a far better battle than the likes of Vegeta, Gohan, and Shin. However, due to his time limit running out, Goku had to cut the battle short and escape before he could actually defeat Buu, which is later revealed by Goku himself, who states that he could have defeated Fat Buu, but wanted to give the new generation the chance to defend Earth. However, just as Goku leaves to return to the other world, something happens to Fat Buu. The evil within him splits apart and overpowers his good side, causing Fat Buu to transform into Super Buu. Super Buu is far stronger than Fat Buu, leaving Goten and Trunks with an even stronger enemy they have to face. So Super Saiyan 3 Goku is stronger than Fat Buu. Who's stronger than Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, and Shin? Now let's see how Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks compares. Gotenks is the result of a successful fusion dance between Goten and Trunks. Goku taught Goten and Trunks the fusion dance in order to be strong enough to defeat Fat Buu. But the goalpost moves once Super Buu is born. We know based off the Dai Zenshu that a base Gotenks before training in the hyperbolic time chamber is below Majin Buu in strength, as we see Gotenks fly over to fight Fat Buu, but returns absolutely defeated and having almost been killed. The only scaling we have for pre-hyperbolic time chamber trained Gotenks is being stated to possibly be able to take on Fat Buu. But that statement is questionable as Piccolo was also positive Super Saiyan and base Gotenks could defeat 
Super Boo, yet that wasn't the case, even after he admitted for Super Boo being greater than before. The only other and very supplementary evidence we have for Super Saiyan being stronger than Fat Boo is a Movie 12 booklet guide that states that Gotenks have the power to overpower Boo. Goten and Trunks have fused to create a strong challenger. Their strength is enough to have overpowered even Margin Boo. However, even after gaining the strength, their childishness slash naughtiness remains the same. The ease of letting their guard down, being careless, remains the fly in the ointment. However, all of this changes when Goten and Trunks enter the hyperbolic time chamber and train. After their training session in the hyperbolic time chamber, it's stated in Daizenshu that Gotenks has surpassed Vegeta and the others. We don't know if this is also referencing Goku, as the statement is pretty vague. By others, it could mean the Z Fighters or those who fought Buu, such as Gohan, Shin, and Dabura. The latter being a fighter on the level of Perfect Cell, who pushed a younger Gohan to transform into Super Saiyan 2. Regardless, Gotenks faces off against Super Buu in the Time Chamber, but even with his new strength, it's still not enough to defeat Super Buu. Super Buu is so powerful that just by shouting, he's able to tear apart dimensions and escape the hyperbolic Time Chamber which only has a single door to escape, which was destroyed by Piccolo. Gotenks then reveals he can also go Super Saiyan free and transforms, which shocks Piccolo as his power is unlike anything he's sensed, despite previously sensing Goku as a Super Saiyan free. Gotenks then performs a similar feat of screaming so loud, he tears apart dimensions and goes to face off against Boo. Super Saiyan free Gotenks begins to essentially dismantle Super Boo, who then begins to fight back more aggressively. Fans of Dragon Ball always get confused about who was stronger between Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Super Buu, as Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks was initially dominating the fight, but then began to fight more evenly. Well, Piccolo states himself in the manga that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Super Buu are equal, but in terms of who was the better fighter, it was Gotenks. This is because of the large amount of techniques he had and training that Goten and Trunks have received from Piccolo and Gohan, compared to Super Buu who doesn't really use strategy to fight. At least not until he absorbs Piccolo and Gohan, and he gains actual intelligence which he implements into his fighting style. However, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks doesn't get to defeat Buu due to the fusion becoming undone. That problem is nipped in the bud quite soon though, as Ultimate Gohan arrives on the battlefield and his power is leagues above Super Buu. So after all that said, who was stronger between the two? Well, it definitely isn't close. The answer may surprise you, but Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks was far above Super Saiyan 3 Goku that faced against Fat Buu. Super Saiyan 3 Goku was stronger than Fat Buu, who went on to get destroyed by Evil Buu, who then absorbs Fat Buu's power and adds it to his own to become Super Buu. That same Super Buu then gets absolutely destroyed by Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, who begins to get serious during the last few minutes. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is implied to be stronger than Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta simultaneously. Later on in the Buu Saga, Goku and Vegeta actually enter Buhan's body to save Goten, Trunks, Piccolo, and Gohan. After successfully removing the people he absorbed, Buhan reverts to Super Buu. The Supreme Kai and Elder Kai are ecstatic and think Goku and Vegeta can defeat Super Buu at this level, but they're poorly mistaken. Goku admits that him and Vegeta don't even stand a chance against Super Buu, and would get massacred, implying the gap between Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta compared to Super Buu is massive. And yet Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks was able to fight on par with Super Buu, and was very close to killing him. If that doesn't convince you, Goku in the manga reveals to Piccolo that he told Fat Buu to be patient, as in two days somebody stronger than me will fight you. And he seemed pretty happy when I told him. This basically just implies how confident Goku was in the fusion of Gotenks to not only surpass him in power, but to defeat Fat Buu. This is insane considering Goku had no knowledge of it being possible for Gotenks to tap into Super Saiyan 3 until he saw it for his own two eyes. Which means he thought Super Saiyan Gotenks or arguably a hypothetical Super Saiyan 2 Gotenks would have been enough. So it's pretty obvious that Super Saiyan 3 Goku was nothing compared to Super Buu and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. In terms of scaling, it would be Ultimate Gohan over Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, which equals to Super Buu, over Super Saiyan 3 Goku, over Fat Buu, over Margin Vegeta, over pre-hyperbolic Time Chamber Gotenks. Though you need to remember that Goku does get stronger by the end of the Buu Saga, and so does his son Gohan. I wonder who was the strongest unfused warrior by the end of Z, Son Goku or Son Gohan?